like I said, scholars, scholars like that. All right, guys, welcome to Exponents. Let's see how you did. All right, so simplified. What definitely goes into 108? Two, yes. You are correct. Yeah. And while we're talking about, you know, strategies and all, how do you know if three goes into it? What's the trick? Somebody knows. Add the digits together. So what's one plus zero plus eight? Nine. Nine or does three go into nine? Heck yeah. So three goes into that one too. Okay. And what kind of numbers uh, do, does, uh, does five go into? It's got to end in what? Five or zero. zero. Okay. So when you're thinking about, okay, how am I going to simplify this? That's that's really your plan right there. Okay. So we go two times 54. Thank you. And we circle the two because two's done. What's 54 made up of several combinations? Two times 27, or somebody said, somebody said, thought somebody said, all right, we'll go with two and 27. All right, what's 27? Three and nine here. And nine is three and three some more. All right, so what's here that you can't see? What kind of root is it? Square root, okay. I don't know why they don't put the two there. Why not? Put a three, put a four, put a five. Anyway, that's the magic number that says you can pull something out if you have that many of them. So what do we have? Two of. Two. There's a pair of twos and a pair of threes. Pull out one of each. Two times three is six. And who didn't have a buddy? That three. Yep. That's old. You definitely knew how to do that. All right. What would have changed if this had been cube root? Okay. Now we need three. What did we have three of? I'll do it in blue here. So we had three threes. That means one of them gets to come out. And who didn't have triplets? Two twos, two times two is four. That goes back under, but why are you going to lose one point this unit? Because I forgot what? The three. The baby three. Okay, don't, it's called an index. Don't forget that. All right, if it's square, you don't have to put it. That's a good question. Okay, good enough. All right, so that's, that's crawling. Now let's walk. Okay. Actually, you know what? Hang on to save that one. I want to go right to letters because we've already done it. All right, write this one down. There you go. No good? Write that one down. Did a whole worksheet on it. I'm sorry, fun sheet on this before a break. You did. This got quiz question written all over it. Week from tomorrow. So why don't you do just the cube root of 40? Forget about the letters for right now. Okay. Let's see what comes out of cube root of 40. I'll give you a minute to try that. Our reps in today.
Yeah, help me. What comes? Uh, or I'm sorry, not uh, what comes out. Let's uh, back to this. What times what? Two times twenty. Oh, somebody said four times ten. Can't circle either one because they're both still going. Four is so two and two. Those are done. And this is two and five. So remember, magic number. We need three of a kind before we pull one out. We had three what's. So a two comes out. And who didn't have triplets? The five goes back in. Okay. Numbers. Now, who remembers from December? What do you do with the letters? Anyone remember? Divide. Divide the exponent 12 by what? Okay. So this is what you should be looking for. You should be writing that three under everybody, including what's y. Y to the one third. Okay, so you're going to divide all the exponents by three. And now whole number comes out, leftovers back in the fridge. Okay, hope that's how you remember this. So for the x's, yo, 12 divided by three is four. Four, say it right. So that means four get to come out. Any leftovers? No. no. It was four with no left. Yep. X's are done. Now, Y was so small, nothing came out. So the Y has to go back in. I'm going to put a one there just so you know. There weren't enough to pull anything out. And the last one, seven. What is seven divided by three? Whole number. Two, so two of them get to come out. And let's see, how many left over? Yeah, so that two is how many come out and the leftovers waiting are how many get to go back in. Question? Like I said, we did a whole worksheet on this month ago now but I think you need to you try this let's go all right that's three oh my oh <laughs> I mess with uh, numbers and just do letters here for this one. Number comes out, leftovers go back underneath. Yeah, okay. I know. Let me tree that. Let's throw it. Sounds good. Book screws. All right. Away we go. Check yourself. Did you put the five here and here? Hope so. Okay. Whole number 20 divided by five is. Well, we're full four out. 
And any leftovers went in clean, no leftovers. Okay, how about 17 divided by five is three. So three come out. And how many are left over? Three times five is 15. So how many were left over? Two. Okay, and check yourself now. Did you forget this guy? That's the one point off thing. I okay. All chapter long. But you got it. No. All right. So exponent rules, nothing new, really. Okay. So how about something new? Maybe. Okay. Well. Okay, same thing, but we're going to mix it with uh, some stuff that's already out front. So when you pull it out, just multiply it there. All right, another practice for you. Square root, simplify. It's a little tougher. Why are you doing this? Forget about the three x squared. Just simplify this, then get it together with the three x squared out front. Start with 18. What times what? Nine and two, remember, which is three and three. All right. So what comes out? You got a pair of threes. So pull one out. Hey, there's a three already there. So you're going to have to multiply those. Okay. Who goes back in? The two. All right. So what's out front? Nine. Make that a nice nine. And what went back in? Two. Okay. Welcome to half credit land. Now let's do this. Careful with all the. Uh, Exponents here. Put that there. How many times did the two go into nine or four? So you got it. Four are coming out. Two were already out here. Multiply those and you got x to what power? 
So you remember that you're supposed to add them when you multiply. Good. And what was there a leftover? Yeah. Two times four was eight, but that left you with one leftover. So here is your final full credit answer. Yeah. Some of you are like, I'm gonna own this chapter. And that's good. Okay. What's up? What's up? So, um, why is there any subject? Wouldn't it be like three next time? Because we are taking out the factors of 18, there's like two, three, and three. Right, right, right. So the green numbers, there was a pair of threes that meant one of them has got to come out. Oh, yeah. But it takes two of them to pull one out. All right. Good enough. Good enough. All right. All right. Now let's talk about some operations here. Did you know okay. this one right here? Write this one down. Is that one you can do in your head? What do you think? Yes or no? Yeah. I mean, use paper. All right. But what, what are you allowed to do when they're both square roots? You're allowed to put them both under one square root. That's huge. Okay. Now it just turned into this problem again. Okay. And, and uh, I know I would probably multiply 6 and 12 together, but why is that a bad idea? What did we do to 108 over here? We broke it down. This one's already breaking down for us. Let's go. What's 12? 4 and 3. 3 is done, and that's 2 and 2. And 6 is 2 and 3. Okay. So what ends up coming out, you had a pair of twos and a pair of threes. Six. What's the only wrong answer someone's going to put here instead of six? If you pull out a two and a three. Two and three. Five. five, five. Right. Someone will put a five. Okay. But remember, all right, it takes two to tango. Okay, two twos pull one out, two threes pull one out, multiply them. And who didn't have a, a buddy? This two here, back under. And that is that. Okay, so on the quiz, on the test, don't forget that if they're both square roots, you can put them under one big square root. Okay, and the same goes for division. Don't need to do that. Same goes for division. You'll like this one. Write this one down. Let's see. Looks like a difficult problem. Actually, very easy. Then, are they both the same square roots? Yes. So, what are you allowed to do? You're allowed to put them both under one. What's 12 divided by six? Two, done. Yeah. So those two problems star those very easy. But you got to remember, if they're both the same, you can put them under one, right? What do, why do I keep saying if they're the same? I won't do it to you, but what if this happened? Yeah, if one's square root and one's not, you can't put them together. Yeah, good enough. Okay, we're rolling. All right, so that takes care of your 6-2 work. And I got a couple problems from 6-3. Let's review these together. Let's do... Radical multiplying and dividing. 
Okay, so here's your first radical multiplication problem. Okay. And first time ever, multiply and divide are easier than add and subtract. So add and subtract and don't miss next class. We'll, we'll do those, yeah, they deserve their own day. Multiply and divide, got this. Okay, so say the word, you got a monomial times binomial distribution is the word. Okay, so we know what to do. Now I just gotta make sure you know, okay, what do you get when you multiply those? Which pieces are you allowed to multiply together? Outsides together. Outsides can multiply together. Insides can multiply together. So, what's that give you? Six root 15, half credit achieved. Now you got a minus. And I don't know, not really a trick question, but what do you get when you multiply that by this? What numbers are outside? Three and good. So what's three times one? Three and five times five is 25. Okay. Soak that one in for a minute. We always simplify, so do you see it? Which piece can still go further? Square root of 25 is five. So what does this end up? Six root 15 minus how much? Done. Yeah. Oh, well, the rules are you can't do that. The rules are to take you back to something I think we've done before. You don't have to write this down, but hang on, brother. No, we answer one question at a time. All right. How many X's you got? Put them together. So, remember this? It was like red blocks or something, or green blocks. You got five green blocks. He's got three, and he took one away. So, eight minus one is seven. All right. But what didn't change? The X. Okay. So if we did the exact same problem, but it looked like this, and it will. Okay. You don't change the radical threes. You just say, I got five of them plus three of them. That's eight minus one of them. That's seven of them. You don't change the of them. So going back to the problem you just asked about, okay, what was it? Six radical 15 minus three radical 25 or something. So is that what it was? Now do you see what I'm saying? You were allowed to say five of these plus three of these minus one of these because they were all the same. These aren't the same. You got six of these minus three of those. Can't do these and those because they got to be the same, otherwise, leave them alone. Okay, so getting back to the one we just did. Was. Yeah, you cannot put these two together. Long problem, short. All right, good enough. Okay, and definitely don't. Subtract 15 minus 15. I know you want to, don't do it. All right, so that was radical multiplication. Distribution, okay. Okay, let's do one more multiply, maybe two divides done for the day. Yeah. All right, uh, this one, done this before, binomial times binomial, Say the word. Boy. Yeah. 
Let me let you try that. F O I L. Fill in these blanks and add together only the pieces that are legal to put together. Try it. I don't think you can put any of them together, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, so you'll have four pieces to this answer. All right, boil with me. What do you get first? Um, negative. One, negative two. Half credit. You got it. All right, how about the outsides? Uh, two squared. Okay, two, not squared, two radical two. Okay, now, uh, before... That was easy, but here's what I want you to think. That says two radical one. You don't see the radical one, because what is that? Well, it's one times it's two, okay? But it's there, all right? And what's here, what's in front of the radical? <clears throat> no negative. You see what I'm saying though? There's things, here that you can't see, like a one in front of that and a square root of one there. Now, this is how easy it is. Multiply the outsides, get two, and multiply the insides, get two. You don't have to do that, but that's that's what you should be thinking. Okay, Because what wrong answer would someone get when they multiply two and radical two? Someone's going to call it radical four. All right? Not right. Okay, back to our full credit answers here. All right, how about the innards? Yeah, can you get there? Negative one, radical three. Do you need the one? No, but I'm going to put it there because you told me to. All right. And last, what's radical three times radical two? Radical six. What's in front of both of them that we can't see? One, what? So it's one radical six. Okay. And what do I got to put in here to make it look right? Full credit. Uh, yeah, th this was positive and this. Okay. Can we add any of those together? No. We said they have to be two of these, three of these, four of these. Okay, we got these is, those is, and words I don't even know. Okay, so here is full credit, final answer. Okay, multiplying, I think we got. So last stop today, dividing. Okay, and this will be old news too. Okay, this is the toughest thing we got today but these aren't tough either all right let's start slow we'll do two of these okay using what you learned today with a p what do you think you're allowed to do first what's a good first step eight over two sure what's eight over two a word say it right yeah four over one but okay we'll leave that alone what else are you allowed to do you learned today? Yeah. These are both square roots. So you're allowed to put them together underneath the same square root. And don't overthink this. What's full credit final answer? Four square root of five. Five. Yeah. Yeah. So that's easy, but 
Remember that answer. Let's let's stick with that answer for a minute. Does anybody remember the other way to do it and get the same answer? Okay, what do I call this guy? Hippies in the basement. Never heard that. Too. Okay. Who were the hippies? Is anybody passing history? They were radicals. Plotting against the government, and the government doesn't want them down in the basement. <clears throat> denominator. Okay, so uh, how do how do we get those hippies out of the basement? You multiply by one, and what one is it? Yeah, you've done this. Okay. So, what do we get up top? Eight radical. I did the easy part. That was nice. Eight radical 45. All right, with me? And what do we get on the bottom? Two radical niner. Yeah. Radical nine, of course, is three, which gives us what on the bottom? Two times three, three times six. Now, what about eight over six? We can go there. Twenty-four. Mm, eight over six. Simplify those, and you get four over three. Okay. Are we seeing the same answer yet? No. All right. But what about radical forty-five? Let's get quick at this. What times what gives me forty-five? Nine times five, okay. So what's coming out? A three's coming out, and a five's going back in. Cross out the threes, dotty dotty, mom knows cry. Right there. There's your problem. Okay. So know how to do it both ways. Okay. What do we call this? Rationalizing the denominator. Okay. No reason you couldn't have done it the first way, though. All right, last problem today. I'd say this is the toughest because it is, but you know how to do it because we've done this with eyes before. Okay. There you go. You got hippies in the basement. So what are we going to multiply by? Let's see if you remember from months ago. What is the complex conjugate of this guy? Change what? Change that to what? Okay. Yeah. After that, I think you got it. Go ahead and distribute the top, foil, bottom, bing, bang, boom. We're done for the day. Simplify. He was known to multiply by two plus radical five over itself. Yes, right. What is it? Mm -hmm. 
Let me see. Let's go ahead and next one. All right, guys. Tip the top, distribute. What you got here? Ten. Ten plus five. Five root five. Good. On the bottom, coil this. And I don't know if you remember. Gosh, it was all the way last month. All right. There will never be any middle terms on the bottom because you chose the right complex conjugate. But we'll we'll do it. What do you get? Lower plus two root fives minus two root fives. You will never have to do the middle two for the bottom. Minus what is what do you get when you do radical times itself? Poof, the radical goes away. And you got a five. Yeah. So what did the bottom turn into? Four minus five is eight of wonderful. Okay. And what do I call these? Kidney Eight. beans. What's that? Eight of ten. Eight of ten. Eight. Chili peppers. It's not a not a kidney bean there. We got black eyed peas. We got green beans. All sorts of good stuff here. Okay. So this is. Final full credit answer. Okay. Good enough. Good enough. Waiting. What was it for? Plus two right five minus two right five. Because me, I know how to foil your first times first is four. Outsides give me two radical five. Insides give me minus two radical five. And then what's minus radical twenty five? Minus five. Okay. But the, the whole goal of doing this multiplying by the complex conjugate is that you don't get radicals on the bottom anymore. The hippies are now in the kitchen. I guess that's okay. Good enough. All right, guys. Great start. Happy New Year.